Welcome to the Drive to School, your morning motivational moment for your drive to school or work or wherever you might be going. Um, Today I am going to be interviewing someone very, very special, near and dear to my heart, and she has no idea why I'm going to be interviewing her. Um, But I'm going to be interviewing my daughter, Caden Bree Weishart. Now, keep in mind, my daughter Caden is an only child. Uh, She has grown up in all kinds of different places. In her little life of 10 years, she has lived in Grove City, Ohio. She's lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And now she lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And um, I'm going to be asking her just some questions from her little 10-year-old mind. And let's just be honest, folks. I have no idea what she is going to say on a live broadcast, (laughs) but um, it's going to be fun to talk with her about her mantra as a little 10-year-old and and what life means to her. And you know, uh, children are pretty honest, and so I'm excited to see what we might learn from my daughter, Caden Bree Weishart. All right, Caden, hi. How are you doing tonight? Awesome. Awesome. Um, we're recording this for tomorrow. It's going to be actually the drive to school tomorrow, and people are going to listen to it um, for a motivational moment. So um, we're going to talk about mantras. And you and I talked about earlier what a mantra is. What do you what do you think a mantra is? Um, like a phrase. Right, like a phrase. But more than just a phrase, it has to be something that does what? You believe in. That you believe in, right. So it's something that you repeat. A mantra, you usually repeat it. And you repeat it over and over again because it's something that you believe in. So um, what is something that you repeat to yourself to help you through the day that you believe in? Try to be kind. Okay, try to be kind. Now, can you give me an example of a time that you've tried to be kind when it was really hard to do? Well, sometimes people aren't nice and it's really hard to be kind to them because you just want to go like, well, why'd you say that? So I'm going to say it back to you. So the temptation is to be mean really back. Mean, mean back to them um, when you should be kind. Um, we had World Kindness Day at Central, at, at our, at Carroll, not Central, Central is my old school, um, at Carroll, and you decided to be really big kind at your school too. What did you do? I had my own World Kindness Day, and I my dad bought me these huge candy canes that were sticks and we gave them out to people and we said they're like what's this for i'm like just saying it's a random act of kindness and why do you do random act of kindness why why is that so important well because i believe in jesus and he he was kind to everybody and when you reflect to be kind it shows jesus like um the speaker at this church said he was going to Olive Garden, and he was just sitting there, and this guy goes up to him and asks, are, are you a Christian or a pastor? And he said, yes, how would you know? And he said, you just got that Jesus smile on your face. Mm, what do you think that means? I don't really know. But you want people to see Jesus inside of you when you're kind? Is that part of it? Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else that you tell yourself when you're having a bad day or, or that helps you get through the, through the day? What do you say? You say choose joy. I say choose joy, that's right. And what does choose joy mean? Choose joy. Like, choose joy. <laughs> I know, choose joy, but what does it mean? Like, let's say oh. there's a bad situation and you choose to, you know, you choose joy. How do you do that? Um, put a smile on your face. Swipe the frown. But what if it's really hard? What if something really bad happens? Well. Are you just supposed to be happy? You could be sad about it, but you don't have, don't show it. Well, is it that you shouldn't show it? Or is it that you, you have to see how you respond to it? Yeah. So you can't choose what happens to you. Like when your bike got stolen or um, when something sad happens or when you feel like you're being bullied at school. You don't choose that. But you choose how you respond to it. Yep. And like, usually someone says something mean to me, I'll say, well, like, give them a compliment back. Ooh, that's a good idea. So when they're mean to you, they might say something mean, but you'll say, hey, I like your shirt, or hey, I, you know, I think you're a nice person. Uh-huh. Have you done that before? Yep. Is it hard to do? Yes. And you gave me the challenge to always be positive. Yep. 
So that would be another mantra, Caden, that you want to always be positive, even when negative things are happening. Like, remember that one time we talked about you were really upset because you got hurt, and I said, well, at least your arm isn't broken? Oh, yeah. So you always look for the positive things in the negative. It's like you stepped on a nail. Well, at least it didn't go into my foot. Right. At least it didn't get stuck there. At least you don't have to get your foot cut off. <laughs> that would be really or horrible. Like you know when you get frostbite and they have to cut your finger off? Ugh, that would hurt. Why are you, what made you think about frostbite? I don't know. Mm. Just think about So frostbite. always be positive, be kind, choose joy. Mm. Those are some pretty good things that you continue to tell yourself. That's what a mantra is. So today on the drive to school, Caden and I talked about being kind, um, always being positive. And, you know, it's really hard to be positive sometimes. Um, but the more you practice that and the more you do that, Caden, the easier it will be. Do you find that it's easier the more you try to be positive? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this was the drive to school, and I hope you have the very, very, very best Monday ever. And, and that- have a safe drive. <laughs> and oh, a- and if you do get in a car accident, remember, it could be worse. <laughs> That's my crazy daughter, and I love her very, very much. I hope you choose joy and have the very best day ever. Until Wednesday. Whoa, whoa.